I kind of got in trouble telling a few jokes about my neighbor Rod and being a little thrifty. And I promised him, and I promised him I would not do that this year. But then I got to thinking if I did it early in the show, by the end of the show, he won't remember. <laughs> so here we go. <laughs> Rod and Shirley were shopping for Christmas down at the Palms. Suddenly they were separated, doing going about their separate ways, and suddenly Shirley remembered they had to get home and do several things, and uh, Rod was supposed to meet her at a certain time, and he wasn't there, so she called him. Is it there? Called him on, called him on his, is it? Are you hearing it? Okay, so she called him on his cell phone, I said, where are you? And he says, well, you remember last year when we came down here and we went in this jewelry store and there was this beautiful necklace, earring, and bracelet, diamonds that you love so much and we decided we couldn't afford it? Yes, she says, and her heart says fluttering. He said, you remember? Yes. He says, I'm in the bar right next to that place. <laughs> sitting by a lake on a low stone wall holding hands and gazing out over the water. For several minutes they sat silently and finally the girl looked at, Shirley looked at Rod and said, a penny for your thoughts. And Rod says, well, I was kind of thinking maybe it's about time for a little kiss. And Shirley blushed, but then she leaned over and kissed him lightly on the cheek. Then Rod blushed, and the two of them once again turned to look at the water and sat quietly. Several minutes passed, and Shirley spoke up again. Rod, another penny for your thoughts? Rod thinks, and he says, well, I was thinking perhaps maybe we could have a little bit of a cuddle. And Shirley blushed, but she leaned over and gave him a hug. And then Rod blushed. And again, they turned out to gaze over the water. And a little bit later, Shirley says, a penny for your thoughts once more, Rod? Well, Rod says, I was thinking perhaps it's time that maybe I could put your hand, put my hand on your leg. And Shirley really blushed this time when she took his hand and gently laid it on her knee. And they sat that way for a while. And pretty soon, Shirley says, Rod, can I ask once more a penny for your thoughts? And Rod says, well, this time, I have to tell you, I'm thinking about something more serious. And Shirley's getting nervous and waiting for maybe the ultimate, you know. And, what is it, Rod? And Rod says, I'm thinking before I answer another question, you ought to pay me for the first three. <laughs> Okay, I think we're ready for our first act, and this is called the hat trick. <laughs> 